This network, you're a liar from the pit of hell. Absolutely. Thank you, Jesus. This network. Father, there is power in your name. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Miracles happen in your name. Hey, this network. Jesus. Father God, help us with this network. Father, help us with this network. Father, help us. Thank you, all my sisters, for joining back. Please continue to share. This is wickedness of the enemy. I am so sorry, my people. Network. Hey, Jesus. Father, we thank you for hearing our voices. Devil is a liar. Thank you, President Josie. Thank you, Stan Moses, Mr. Goma. Let's continue to invite others. Devil is a liar. It's been a challenge with this network today. I have never seen any wickedness like this. Father, we thank you. today with network but we can never fail to praise our master jesus hey we thank god for the land of nigeria we bless god for our land my sisters we have spent almost an hour on the other side before the network disconnected us we are going to look into the word of god to encourage ourselves to know that everything that is happening there is a purpose for it so we are going to use this media to encourage ourselves through the word of god as we continue to invite others and share in Jesus' name, 
in case of this network, but I believe the Lord has taken absolutely control. The voice of the Lord is the only voice we can hear in Nigeria, in Africa, in the nation. As we pray that we need a replacement in our government leadership. Father God, we are going to pray constantly, even after this broken, that God will want a speedily answer that everyone on the leadership that is so wicked and brutal to the land of Nigeria, Father, will submit fire of the Holy Ghost to visit them, burning them from their head to their toe. They will surrender their positions. That is what we want. That is what we demand. That is what we want from heaven in agreement in the name of Jesus and so shall it be in Jesus' name. Let us look to the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 7, verse 14. If any of us can type it in place, brothers and sisters, Second Chronicles seven fourteen. Let's hear the word of God concerning our land, Nigeria, concerning us in Jesus' name. Like I said, devil will never put tears on our eyes anymore. We are delivered and we are more than conquerors. We are victorious in the name of Jesus. We will rise again. Nigeria will rise up again. Africans will be in unity again, whether the devil likes it or not. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Second Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Yes, one thing is for us to gather. One thing is for us to shout and pray. One thing is for us to gather and protest on the street. But one thing the Lord is demanding of us, if we can turn away from our evil ways, I'm telling us today, sisters and brothers, in the midst of the protestants, those that are protesting on the street, there are dangerous people in our midst. And how do we differentiate them? Everybody looks like we're doing the same cause, but some of them are in the midst to destroy others. But we say, Father, separate us from the wicked ones in the mighty name of Jesus by setting fire upon them. Let them hear different voices among themselves. Father, let them begin to speak different languages in the mighty name of Jesus. Because these people are wicked. They have messed up with the good ones. That is why they are destroying the children of God. But if we can turn away from our evil ways, if we in the Individually can seek the face of God, can ask for forgiveness of sins, can really surrender this battle to God. Our master Jesus said he will forgive our sins and our iniquities and he will heal our land. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want us all to confirm that word in Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Let's go to Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Call to me and I will answer you and I will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. We are calling on the Lord. There are some certain things that are happening. There are people that you eat and dine together that are the ones that are our enemies. It's not all about the government now, but there are people that sit in the villages, in the towns, in the communities that act as if they like us, they are with us, but they are agents of the darkness. Father, separate us eh, in the mighty name of Jesus and show us hidden things eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Nigeria will rise again in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We we'll give you the praise, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to read the book of First Peter two one to twenty five. First Peter, chapter two, verse one to twenty five. So put away all malice and all deceit and hypocrisy and envy and all slander, like newborn infants. Come for the pure spiritual milk, that by it you may grow up into salvation. If indeed you have tested that the Lord is good, as you come to him, as we gather, a living stone rejected. Ah, Nigeria has been rejected by our government. Those that will trust it to protect us uh, are the ones destroying us uh, by men. But in the sight of God, chosen and precious, uh, we are chosen children of God, peculiar nation, precious in the sight of God. You know what? You yourself, like a living stone, are being built up as a spiritual house. We are living stones, but God has built you and I and those that have departed as a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Christ Jesus. That is what we are doing today as sons and daughters of Africa, as sons and daughters of God in heaven. Because I see my white friends and well wishers here. I see my Spanish friends and well wishers on the brokers. I see Nigerians, Africans who are all mixed up. But the Lord said, we are precious in his sight. If we can come together, definitely our God will answer us. And so shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Father, we worship you in Jesus' name. We are going to also go into the first Timothy 2, 1 to 15. Hallelujah. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 to 15. Glory. Hallelujah. Look at what the Lord is telling you and I. First of all, then I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be made for all people, ha, for kings and all who are in high positions, that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and defiled in every way. This is good, and it is pleasing in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all people to be saved and to come to the kingdom of the truth and the knowledge. For there is one God, and there is one meditator between God and man, the man Jesus Christ. We have come unto Jesus Christ, the author and the finisher of our faith. We have no other God but Jehovah Yahweh. The I am that I am the ancient of the days. Hey, the ancient of the days, the way maker, our ocean divider, the God of sisters will love God, will rest in peace. We are going to observe a minute for our children, our brothers and sisters that have been murdered through this protest two weeks ago and still happening. Father God, may their souls rest in peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are going to take one minute of silence to honor their souls. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. The one minute starts now. In Jesus' name, wherever you are, be silent for the next one minute. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Ooh. Praise the Lord. We thank God. Let us begin to plead the blood of Jesus Christ on this broadcast today as we are rounding up to close. That the souls of our loved ones that departed through the mercy of God. Lord, I said I'm not going to cry. Jesus. Who had an eye? May their souls rest in peace. May the blood of Jesus Christ that their souls will rest in peace, that God will accept them in his kingdom and forgive all their sins and their iniquities. Our heroes, may their souls rest in peace. May their souls rest in peace. Blood of Jesus, accept their souls in the name of Jesus. Ah, Lord, I do want to cry, Father, may their souls rest in peace. Hey, blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. May the souls of our children rest in peace. Our husbands, our friends, and where we shall have passed through this protest. Father, may their souls rest in peace. In the name of Jesus. May their souls rest in peace. May their souls rest in peace. May their souls rest in peace. Oh my God. Jesus. May their souls rest in peace, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We thank God for his mercy. We give God the praise. On behalf of Sister Trilog Group International, I just want to thank every one of us that took out our busy time to worship the Lord concerning our land, Nigeria. Let us continue to seek the face of God. Let's forgive those that have offended us so that our Father in heaven will also forgive us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for this garden. I still bless the souls of those that have departed. The Lord will visit us in peace. And there will be a change in our government, whether the devil likes it or not. Speedingly, God is going to answer. In the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless each and every one of us. 
Let's not stay away from the presence of God. Let us dwell closer and closer. Christians, this is the time for us to exercise our power in agreement. This is the time for us to pray in one accord. This is the time both Muslims and Christians should call Allah, call Jesus. Call whoever you believe. If you believe in voodoo, go ahead and start calling your voodoo. Anywhere you believe, whatever you think you believe, it doesn't matter, but we need peace. However you're going to please your own God, we are pleasing Jehovah Yahweh. I am that I am, ancient of the days, the unchangeable God. Ha, ah, ageless God, the God of Sisters Through Love Group International, the God of Nigeria, the God of Africa, the God that created all humans, omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient God. We are calling that God. Whoever that you believe in, begin to call that God. Our own God is a God that can answer any time. Our God is a God that is of justice. Jesus is the one that has been killed and crucified on the cross of Calvary. That we shall live. Ah, any governor, any government, any president, the fire of the Holy Ghost will be their portion. They will eat pain like food and they will swallow water like blood of Jesus. They will eat and they will begin to burn them by fire. Anything they put in their system will turn to be fire of the Holy Ghost. I pray for that president right now. And everyone that is working under him. And everyone that have gathered against the children of God in Nigeria. Against our citizens. Father, as they lift up water, Jesus, water will turn fire upon them. As they eat regular food, regular food will burn them. As they say it, Father, there will be fire on their chair. As they lie down, Jehovah, fire will begin to burn them. Father, as they move around, Holy Ghost fire will begin to pursue them. There will be no hiding place for the enemy. Whatsoever they are doing, those wicked souls, there will be fire all over them. I mean, fire of the Holy Ghost, speedily. There will be no peace in the land of the wicked. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are not talking about the president only. Until his seventh generation, all his children, 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 till the seventh generation, they will partake in the wickedness that he has sowed in the land of Nigeria. In the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. We we'll release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon everything that they are going to do. As they sit down and watch the news, fire will begin to burn them. In the mighty name of Jesus. As they turn around, the fire of the Holy Ghost will overtake them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever they are going to do, fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In their household, among their children, everything that they are doing, among their cabinet, Father, begin to put confession with the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. No shall stand the fire of the Holy Ghost among them. They will never have no peace. From this day henceforth, faith have departed from the wicked ones. They will not have peace in the land of the living. And their death will be so shameful and disgraceful. In the mighty name of Jesus, there will be no peace in the land of the wicked. In the mighty name of Jesus, there will be no peace among them and their household. In the mighty name of Jesus, there will be no hiding place. In the name of Jesus, for the blood that they have shed in the land of Nigeria. In the mighty name of Jesus, peace have eluded from them. There's no more peace in their life for the rest of their lives. Hey, they will never live in peace. Trouble, they will eat trouble like food. They will drink wickedness, Lord. They will poison themselves and their children. They will slaughter their own family. Father God, you will give them that sword that they used to kill the children of God. They will use it and begin to kill each other. So shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we say we transfer the wickedness among them right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, we release the wickedness that they have shown to us among them back to send that. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we release that wickedness right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever you are, declare the word of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, there will be no peace for the wicked. So shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone that stood to make sure there is blood in the land of Nigeria. Father, as long as these children's blood and these our brothers and sisters and blood were shedded in our land, this earth will not contain the wicked ones anymore. In the name of Jesus, as they enter their cast fire, in the name of Jesus, Father, they will drink fire of the Holy Ghost. They will sleep with the fire of the Holy Ghost. They will jump out of their chairs, Lord, and surrender in the mighty name of Jesus. There is no peace for the wicked. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus, there is power in the name of the Lord. If Christians can turn away from our evil ways and begin to come together to worship the Lord, in the name of Jesus, that will be different. In the name of Jesus, we release fire today. 
Let the fire of the Holy Ghost answer. In the mighty name of Jesus, speed in the Lord. Let there be no delay. Speed in the Lord. Speed in the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be. Father, we release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Father, we release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Father, we release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Father, we release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Father, we release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Upon this stupid president that we have, Father, replace him. Speed in the Lord and his cabinet. Father, replace every wicked one. Speed in the Lord. The hour has come. Suffer not for which is to live. Enough is enough in Nigeria. Enough is enough in Africa. Enough is enough with this brutality. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we call for the angel Gabriel and Michael and Raphael. All the angels of heaven, Lord King of glory, that they should go to war with these people. In the name of Jesus. Father, replace them with fire. Father, replace them with the fire of Holy Ghost. They will not have a hiding place. Father, there is no peace for them. They have a lot of peace, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall it be. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, we give you the praise because of a good God. In agreement, your children say, in Jesus' name, so shall it be. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, we worship you. We give you all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you for this network. Father, we worship you for this garden. That every soul that have gathered, Father, you will bless. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as your children gather, we have blessed us, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, wipe away our tears. In the name of Jesus. Father, bless us be your holy name. We invite your friends. We will pray for Nigeria today. We want to worship God, our nation. In the name of Jesus. Ah, who will declare the word of God as children of God. Ah, the president will feed the fire of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Chineke Gapuya called there will be no hiding place. Oh, that one wicked, that president is that one wicked. Hey, that president is that one wicked. Chineke gave me a call, that phone phone, before you have more, eh? Oh my God, he will suffer. He will see death and beg for death. That will be very fast because we will suffer the torture of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus, blessed be your holy name. Miracles happen in the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Ghost. Yes. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. Holy Ghost. Jesus, He will answer us. You are free. You got that. You are free. You 
see we thank God because we will draw strength in the presence of the Lord like I said let's not be crying like those who don't have faith anymore our God is a faithful God you see that we are having fun praising God in the midst of our storm Nigeria will have a big storm that is all over shaking in our country but in the midst of it all the Bible said we should have joy peace in the Holy Ghost I wish every one of us the best. We wish our country, Nigeria, the best. We shall rise up again. We will stand up again. Unity will reign again in Nigeria. Love will dwell among us. But those wicked leaders, they will see the fire of the Holy Ghost face to face. And they will know indeed that there is God. May the Lord continue to bless each and every one of you. In the mighty name of Jesus. The network was crazy, but we give God the glory. We succeeded in praising the Lord for our nation. God bless each and every one of you. Sister Sula Group International is happy because we can call our fans globally and they will stand up for us. We thank God for every one of you for joining us. We bless God. We will rise up again. Let us agree that we will rise up again. Nigeria will rise up again. Nigeria will rise up again. Nigeria will rise up again. In the mighty name of Jesus, Nigeria will rise up again. In the name of Jesus, unity will reign in our land again. In the mighty name of Jesus, unity will reign in our land again. In the name of Jesus, Nigeria will rise up again. In the mighty name of Jesus, Nigeria will stand up again. In the mighty name of Jesus, Africa will be happy again. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for victory. Father, we thank you for success. Father, we thank you for deliverance. Father, we thank you for your mercy. Lord, we thank you for your grace. Lord, we thank you for your peace in Nigeria. Nigeria will rise up again. Africa will be united again. In the mighty name of Jesus, no more shedding blood. Anyone that will rise up against the word of God, anyone that will stand against what we have come in agreement, may the fire of the Holy Ghost strike them. In the mighty name of Jesus, we command the land of Nigeria, we command the land of Africa, we use Nigeria to be a bone of contact. In the mighty name of Jesus, that any African country, that the governors, the president, those that in authority are destroying the poor, Father, we command our land, Africa, to open and swallow them. In the name of Jesus, we we'll command our land in Africa. Open, swallow every wickedness. In the name of Jesus, we we'll command our land in Africa. Open, swallow every wickedness. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray that peace will run away from anyone who doesn't want peace. In the name of Jesus, any government that decided that they don't want peace, Holy Ghost fire, let peace elope from them. In the name of Jesus, peace will run away from our wicked government. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we replace them by the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, we replace this government by the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, we replace them by the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, we replace this wicked government by the power of the Holy Ghost.
Holy Ghost. Father, we replace them by the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, we replace them by the power of the Holy Ghost. Declare the word of God. We replace this government. The president will replace him. Ah, he saw that the dead president. He's just a living cop. Father, we replace him by the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, we arrest them by the power of the Holy Ghost. Declare the word of God. I agree with me in the spirit. I agree with me. Declare the word of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare the power of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Spread in the Jehovah answer. In the mighty name of Jesus. Spread in the Jehovah answer. In the mighty name of Jesus. Spread in the Jehovah answer. Oh, Holy Ghost. Mm. Father, I worship you. He's not a man. Jesus is not a man. That you will bribe. Hallelujah. Hey, Father, we worship you. Father, we thank you. Yes. Sister Sue Love Group International has been fasting for the past two days. Hey, Jesus, you will answer. Thank you all for joining us. There is no one like Jesus. Father, replace the wicked government. Father, replace them. That's all we ask for. Put them to shame and disgrace. No one like Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, replace this wicked government. Hey, Jesus, replace them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, take away peace in their land. Those wicked governors, governments, cabinets. All the way to the local government chairman, to the police, to the army officers. Anyone that is against the children of God, Father will replace them by the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, put a different language among them. In the name of Jesus. Hey, Father, there is no God like you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Hey! No one like you. Jesus. Hallelujah. There's no one like Jesus. No one like you. That's not like Jesus. That's not like him. If you just join us late, you go back and watch the first series. Mm. Our God is faithful. That's not like him. Thank you, Jesus. Chida can hear Hura. Or do you hear at all at all? He doesn't sleep. Blessed be his holy name. I thank you all. Hallelujah. For joining us. God bless each and every one of you. We have spent exactly two hours plus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. An hour plus right now. The network has been crazy. Please do us a favor. Make sure you share this broadcast and make it public on your own page. Make it public on your own page so that others who are not able to join us can pray along with us. Sister Sue Love Group has been fasting since two days concerning our country, concerning Nigeria, and we believe that our God has answered us in the mighty name of Jesus. We know that God has answered us in the precious name of Jesus. We know that the Lord has answered us in the name of Jesus. There's no doubt. Peace will reign again. I'm just so excited that the Lord has wiped away our tears. Many of us are getting stronger because then that trust in the Lord, we shall renew our strength. That is what is happening to us. God bless you, my sister Chinyere. Those that trust in the Lord, the Bible said we shall renew our strength. That is exactly what is happening to us. Our strength is renewed in the mighty name of Jesus. Because we trust in the Lord, our strength is renewed in the name of Jesus. I'm excited because finally, peace has come to Nigeria. For blood to be shedded like this, the end of this government is already here. They don't have a choice. They must step down. Before their time reach, they will step down. Peace has come. Because we have called God. Hey, the blood of our children and our loved ones is not going to go in vain. God is going to answer. Change has come. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes. We will make room for two. You are like Jesus. 
You are all that matters. Thank you for our land, Nigeria. We love our land. Father, we'll call you concerning our land. And we'll know you will answer. Thank you for our country, Nigeria. Thank you for Africa. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for deliverance. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. Thank you, Lord, for our country. Father, you are worthy. Blessed be your name. Nigeria will rise up again. What will I do? Jesus. What can we do if we don't have God? That would have crushed all of us. If you say the Holy Ghost. If we didn't see the light of God. If God did not hold the hand of Nigerians. Because he's the dead man. He's just a living cop. You know, he's just living, but he's not alive. Mentally, he's a dead man. This is his last time to operate in an evil way. His children will suffer. His grandchildren will suffer till seven generations. A lot of blood has been shed. Jesus will answer us. We will rise up again. Let's encourage one another. I love you all, my brothers and sisters in Nigeria. I just love you all. I just love you all. May the Lord have mercy upon us. Hey, Lord, I don't want to cry today, Jesus. God, have mercy upon us. God, 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 have mercy. Thank you, Jesus, for love and unity among us. We don't have any other place but in the presence of the Lord. Father, thank you for loving us. Father, thank you for your love. Then you will rise up again. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. name of Jesus. Thank you all for really joining us. We have to end the broadcast right now and cover us with the blood of Jesus. We love you all. We love you all. We love you all. You all be safe out there. As we pray and worship God, let's also practice safety. Please, let us be safe out there. Please, as we depart this evening, let us be safe Let's stay away from the street. Let us instead come closer to pray and worship God. Gather your family members. Sister Sula Group International is always going to observe the presence of the Lord wherever we are for the whole of November. Starting from yesterday, we'll be fasting. We are going to fast as much as we can till the end of next month. Concerning Nigeria, 
If you cannot fast, just take one hour with your family and children and just thank God for the land of Nigeria because peace has come. You know, God has to allow something to happen for something to happen. So for our children to shed their blood, to find peace, we are talking about graduates that are begging for food in Nigeria and will have government. I tell people we don't have president in Nigeria. Be everybody is ruling themselves. The Lord has come to make a change. So please, stay away from trouble. Do more of prayer. You don't have to fast if you cannot fast, but you can deny yourself one hour without drinking water or eating anything. Just come with your children and say, God, thank you for bringing deliverance in the land of Nigeria. Because whenever there is a blood shedding for a particular thing, God will answer speedily. Our children have shedded their blood. Youths really brought out themselves to be murdered and killed for their land. Hey, Jesus will answer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give God the praise because of who he is. And that blood that is shedded on the land of Nigeria will bring bloodshed in the hands of all these government people. There will be no peace in their homes. They will swallow their own children alive. Because now the blood of Jesus Christ is the one speaking. It's not the blood of our brothers and sisters on the land of Nigeria. That blood of Jesus Christ is the one standing for that land right now. So the president will use his hand to poison himself. Our president will eat poison. If he doesn't eat it, his wives, those women around him, they will poison him. The Lord is going to enter into all of them. They will kill themselves. We don't have to kill them. God is going to slaughter them in his own way. And when the Lord goes into a battle, definitely we are winners. God is into the battle of Nigeria. We have won this battle. You guys will be hearing. They're going to swallow themselves. Their children will begin to kill each other. Their wives will begin to kill each other. Their offices in their cabinet, they will begin to murder each other. So shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus. If God be God, ah, there will be a remarkable change in our government. Speedily. And we we'll cover it with the blood of Jesus Christ. Let us plead that blood of Jesus. That blood of Jesus. That blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I thank God for the land of Nigeria. I thank God for those that sacrificed their lives. I thank God for our family members that lost their families. Because God will restore peace upon their, their lives. God will restore joy upon us. God will definitely forgive the sins of those that have departed. Through his mercy, they will not miss this world and also miss heaven. So our prayer is that for those that have been killed, Father, have mercy upon them. In the name of Jesus. And bring peace in their families. And give us peace as a country. In Jesus' precious name. And we thank God for every other tribe that joined us. God bless everyone. In Jesus' name. I'm going to end the broadcast right now. The network was off. We came back again. I honestly appreciate every one of you. And my sisters were super, super excited. God bless us. God bless us. And God bless us. I love you all so much. Your very own Jesse, the CEO of Sisters Sri Love Group International. We are so super excited that really we can come in agreement. God bless all of our fans, friends, and well wishers, family members globally. In Jesus' name. Until we meet again, probably tomorrow, to give God the praise, even if it's for 30 minutes. Amen. I love you all. I love you all. I love you. Bye for now.